Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. Today in this video, we are going to see how to add Facebook leads to Google Sheets for your Culture Club programs. I am Culture Club Head and I am organizing an event. And here my objective is that whenever a new lead is received through Facebook lead ads, all the lead details should be added into my Google Sheets automatically. For that, I am simply going to create a connection between Facebook lead ads and Google Sheets in such a way so that whenever a new lead is received through Facebook lead ads, all the lead details would be added into my Google Sheets automatically. Public Connect works on two principles. First is trigger and second is action. Here my trigger application is Facebook lead ads and my action application is Google Sheets. To learn how to do this, let me take you to my screen. In this video, I am going to show you how to add Facebook leads to Google Sheets automatically. So I am a cultural club head and I am organizing an event. And for that, I am running an ad campaign on my Facebook page and I have also created a lead gen form by using Facebook lead ads. And now I want that whenever a new lead is generated by submitting the form, automatically the details of that lead should be shared in my Google Sheet. And for that, I'm going to use Public Connect, which will help me to automate this entire process. Now, to begin with the process, we are first going to search for Public Connect. And as we do that, here we have reached the landing page of this software. On my right hand side, you can see two options over here, sign in and sign up free. If you are an existing user, then simply click on sign in. But if you are a new user, then please click on this tab sign up free. It won't take more than two minutes. And yes, you will also get 100 free tasks every month. So I'm simply going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user. Now here we have reached all Pabli application page. Now let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached dashboard of this application. Now if you want to create a new folder, then simply click on this icon and create a new folder. As I want to create a new folder for my new workflow, so I'm simply going to click on this. And here a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name the folder. So I'm going to name my folder as Facebook leads to Google Sheets. Now let's click on create. And here, as you can see, we have successfully created a folder named as Facebook leads to Google Sheets. Now again on my right hand side, you can see a tab named as create workflow. Let's click on this. And here a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name the workflow. Now I am going to name my workflow as Facebook leads to Google Sheets for Culture Club program. And here, as you can see, I have selected the folder Facebook leads to Google Sheets, which I have created just now. By clicking on this drop down, you will find all the folders which you have created earlier. Now let's click on create. So as I do that, here we have reached another window which has got us two extremely important events. First is trigger and second is action. Trigger is when this happens and action is do this. Basically, action here is the response of your trigger application. Now my trigger application is going to be Facebook lead ads. Let's click on this. And now we need to select a trigger event. This is the event which will make your workflow start. Let's click on this. And here, as you can see, there are two options over here, new lead instant and new lead. I'm simply going to select new lead instant as my objective is that I want to add a new row instantly into my Google Sheets whenever a new lead is generated through Facebook lead ads. And it says triggers when a new lead is submitted in specified lead gen form associated to your Facebook page. Let's click on this. After that, click on connect. And now to connect our Facebook lead ads account with our public connect account, we need to set up a connection. For that, I'm simply going to select add new connection. But if you have an existing connection, please select existing connection. Then click on connect with Facebook lead ads. Now select your account. And we have successfully connected our Facebook lead ads account with our public connect account. Now we need to select our page. And it says, please select a Facebook page. If you don't see your page listed, access your account settings to confirm that the connected account has the correct manage page permissions and then reconnect your account. Let's click on this. And I have named my page as Twilight Tunes Club. Now, we need to select a lead gen form. This is the form which I use to generate my leads. And it says select lead ads form here. Please ensure that your lead ads form is live else you might not receive the lead data correctly. Let's click on this. And I have named my lead gen form as cultural club form. Now after that, as you can see over here, there is an important note. 
and it says please note that after clicking the save and send test button you will need to generate sample submission of your lead ads form by clicking on the preview form button and filling out the form make sure that the lead generation form is live before making the sample submission which means after clicking the save and send test request button we need to generate a sample submission or a test submission now let's click on save and send test request and now it says waiting for webhook response and there is a note again now log into the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response and for that we are going to search for meta for developers after searching for meta for developers go to this first link over here or you can directly search for developers.facebook.com let's click on this now click on more and then go to tools and scroll it down and you will find lead ads rtu debug tool make sure your api or crm integration is set up correctly and receiving data click on this and this is lead ads testing tool use this tool to test your api or crm integration you can create a test lead to confirm that your integration is set up to receive data correctly now to do a test submission we need to select our page in the form name let's click on this now before clicking on this preview form button let's read this you can create one lead per form you will need to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one so in order to create a new lead we need to delete our existing lead or old leads but as of now i do not have any existing lead so i'm simply going to click on this preview form and this is the form which i have created now i'm simply going to fill all the dummy details over here after that click on next and then submit and it says your test lead has been sent to create a new lead please delete this one now let's go back to our pabli connect account and check whether we have received a response or not and as you can see over here we have successfully received our response the full name is demo user the email address is demo@pabliteutes.com and the phone number is this which means we have successfully connected our trigger application now my action application is going to be google sheets Let's click on this. Now we need to select our action event. Let's click on this. And here you will find various action events, but I'm simply going to select add new row as my objective is to add a new row in my Google Sheets. Let's click on connect. Now to connect our Google Sheets account with our Pabli Connect account, we need to set up a connection. For that, I'm simply going to select add new connection, but if you have an existing connection, please select existing connection. After that, sign in with Google and select your account and then allow all the authentications and we have successfully connected our google sheets account with our public connect account now we need to select spreadsheet you can choose or map your spreadsheet id here let's click on this and i have named my spreadsheet as leads record so as i have selected the spreadsheet and because i have a single sheet only so it would be selected automatically as soon as the sheets will be selected here whatever the columns i have created will be fetched and will be visible as fields and as you can see name email and the phone number and i have created the same columns in my google sheets name email and the phone number now we need to enter or we can map all these details and whatever the details we are mapping will get replaced automatically when our automation will work in real time and also mapping is a technique through which i can retrieve the data from the previous tabs and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time so i'm simply going to map all these details let's click on this go to facebook lead ads and the full name email address and the phone number as well after that click on save and send test request and we have successfully received our response over here now let's go back to our google sheets and check whether we have added a new row or not and here as you can see we have successfully added a new row with the lead details which means we have successfully connected our facebook lead ads account with our google sheets now let's go back to our lead ads testing tool and check this automation in real time now in order to create a new lead we need to delete our existing lead for that i'm simply going to click on this delete lead and now it says your lead has been deleted now refresh this page once which is a necessary step 
and now select your page in the form name again click on this then go to preview form and enter all these details click on next and then submit and here it says your lead has been sent now let's go back to our google sheets and check whether we have added another new row or not and here we have successfully added another new row now let's go back to our public connect account we have successfully connected our trigger and action application and it was a successful workflow so let's summarize this quickly here my trigger application is facebook lead ads and the trigger event is new lead instant here my action application is google sheets and my action event is add new row and if you also want to add all the lead details into your google sheets whenever a new lead is generated through facebook lead ads then simply follow this two step workflow hope this video was a helpful one thanks for watching Not only these applications but you can also integrate many other applications with the help of Public Connect if you have any doubt please reach out to us at support@pabli.com if you want to ask any queries please reach out to us at forum.pabli.com and if you have any pricing related issue please reach out to us at this website if you find this video helpful in any way please do not forget to share this video with your friends and also please like our video and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automations